Hey, welcome back to another CBD video. I am your pilot, JT, and I am posting another record-breaking video, or at least for me it's record-breaking, 22,731 feet. So, this flight was actually unplanned. Earlier in the day, I did plan to do a one-way trip to see just how far my transmitter would reach. Uh, I had a friend that had called up and we had mapped out a couple places, a couple emergency landing areas, and then a projected distance. So I had him standing by in the area. I took off and I had got out to 27,496 feet, which is just over five miles. And I was dropping it down in the parking lot where he was sitting. It got down to about 30 feet. We're communicating on the phone and I asked him if, it, if everything was going okay, if it was landing. At that time I didn't have any visual. Uh, the transmitter uh, detached from the craft once the craft fell below uh, the tree level. So he said, yeah, everything's, everything's going good. It's coming down. And then when it got to about 30 feet, he says, wait, nope, it's taken off. And then that popped in my head, shit, I forgot to turn off the return to home when I lose connection. So I took off with a good tailwind. Uh, at five miles, I still had 70% battery left. And I knew that once I got up in the air and started coming back against that wind, which was about 15 miles an hour, I knew that it was gonna eat up some battery really quick. So. I jump on my motorcycle, I've got uh, the remote hanging from my neck on a lanyard, I'm driving down the road, I'm trying to throttle with one hand and point the, point the uh, range extender at the end of the remote up in the air where I think the drone is at. And I got a few miles up the road and it finally did reconnect. I had 28% battery left and that was a short period of time. I did five miles, had 70% battery. It was in the air for maybe four minutes and it dropped to 28%. Luckily, I was able to reconnect, fly it over to where I was on the side of the road and, and bring, it, bring it down safely. But this video here, this was unplanned. I came outside, there was absolutely no wind. Um, it was perfect. And so spur of the moment, I said, I'm gonna do one more trip before it gets totally dark out. So I put the drone in the air, as you'll see in this video at the very beginning, 22,731 feet, which is a little over four miles, it's like 4.3 miles. So it's an 8.6 mile round trip on a single battery. Now this battery here, it's not too old, but it, ha it does have 20 cycles on it. This was the 20th charge on this battery and it worked great. 8.6 mile round trip. Um, I normally start my videos right before I'm about to turn around so that I'm not boring you with the trip out and then I show you the trip all the way back so you know that I did make it all the way back. The video I posted before this one is a how-to video. How am I getting these distances? Um, and I explain where a lot of people go wrong when they're trying to do these distance tests and I tell you what you should be doing. To maximize your distance when you're doing these distance tests. I enjoy doing the distance tests. It's something that I have a lot of fun with. Uh, it's a little adrenaline rush when the battery starts getting low. Um, but check out this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. If you want to know how I'm getting these tests, check out the video before this, how to, how to get max distance out of your Phantom 4 Pro. That's the uh, title of the video I posted before this. Check it out. Uh, I might be able to teach you something. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. I might learn something from you. Uh, but as usual, I do appreciate you stopping by CBD to check out my videos. And until I see you next time, 